Hello, my friends. It's a windy day here, and uh, we are just feeling blessed and uh, just enjoying the moment. Now, you know, we're at home, and I certainly wish you were right here in this place with me, but that's not possible right now. But you know what? It won't be long before we'll look back on this and say, wow, it was tough when it happened, but guess what? We're going to be okay, and we have survived because we're strong. We are survivors. Now, today, we are going to put together a beautiful Easter tablescape. And this tablescape is being sponsored by eFavor Mart. And I'm using some eFavor Mart napkins, some eFavor Mart runners, and they're beautiful and they're really bringing out the spring in my kitchen. I'm also going to construct for you a centerpiece and we're gonna put that table together. And it's gonna be an Easter table, in this case, only for two, because there's two in our household. So, I love you. I certainly appreciate everything that you do. Down at the bottom, you're going to see that there's a link and I would appreciate if you would take the time, click on that link and vote for this video because eFavor Mart wants to know how many people watch the video, how many people might be interested enough to come back and look at some of the products that they have. So I hope you'll take the time to do this. And there are going to be some other creators along the way who are also going to be working on their Easter tablescapes. So you'll have an opportunity to take a look at theirs as well. Now this is where we're starting with just a centerpiece. And we'll talk about this centerpiece and I'll show you how I put it together in another video. But we're going to set a nice table and since it's just Papa and I, and I um, we don't need a lot. So I want to bring out the pinks. You saw the pillow that I'm kind of jumping off from with the Hello Spring. You've seen the wreaths that I have hanging here on my pantry door. You've also seen that I've even taken the time to tie back my curtains with a pink and white checked pattern. And uh, so we're gonna take that pink and white and we are going to make and to set a beautiful table. So let's get started. We're gonna start first with a pink and white check runner. So let's get that in place. Now there's our runner in place and uh, you can see that I've angled it in such a way that we will be able to place down the two uh, place settings and have plenty of space. So let me get those. I'm going to start with white chargers. All right, I have our charges in place, and I have some cabbage plates, and they're really very pretty. So I'm going to put these cabbage plates right on those white chargers, green cabbage. All right, our cabbage plates are in, are in place, and I want to pull out a regular napkin as well as a pink and white check napkin. And I'm gonna do something a little different with it. I'm going to add them to our glasses. I wanted a bit of a bouquet, so I've taken one regular 20, in, 20 by 20 napkin, placed it down into the glass, and I've added a little pink and white check napkin. This, these pink and white napkins and runner came from E Favor Mart. Now, each of the glasses looks like a little bouquet and I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna add another little touch. 
Now I have added a wine glass to each of those settings. How pretty. Now let's get our silverware in place and then we'll be ready for dinner. Now I wanted to do something just a little bit different just to give it a different look. So you'll see that I've crossed the silverware and I've done the same over to the second setting. Now I'm going to bring you up so you can see our table. We are starting today with a blank slate. And here I have before you a bowl and uh, that I absolutely love. I got this bowl off of uh, uh, Etsy. I'm having a moment. And um, it was from the Robert Stanley collection. And it ran about 30 bucks. But it is a huge, huge dough bowl. This dough bowl is actually, I thought I had my tape measure here. What do I do? It's actually about, I measured from end to end, it is exactly 22 inches. And so um, across, and let's see, it's about 11 and almost 12 inches. And in, you got length and the width, about 12 inches. Now, so we are going to put together an Easter centerpiece. And, you know, on my kitchen table prior to this, I had a beautiful, beautiful birdcage that I absolutely love, still love it. I have moved that to another part of the house so that we have something different. And I thought for Easter, I wanted something special. So we're going to create, we're going to use what we have in the house. I pulled some things from other places. I went up in the attic and found a few extras. And so we're going to put together a beautiful Easter uh, centerpiece. So this is what we're going to start with. We're going to start with two little pots of plants and these little pots came from Ikea and as you can see they're nice and green I had considered even doing three but I think I'm going to do two and what I want to do I want a place for light you know I'm in into I think we need to shine our light we are going through a very dark period of history but it doesn't have to be dark in our hearts so I found my hurricane. So I'm going to use my hurricane, and uh, let's see if I can get you at a better angle. Okay, I'm going to use my hurricane in the center, and I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I think that's going to be beautiful. Now, we're going to keep this... Um, we're, like I said, I'm pulling things I already have because, as you know, we are supposed to stay at home. So there's no shopping to be done, so we have to use what we have at home. So, I have a few things. So let me show you what I have.
Well, I wanted you to see that our dough bowl is complete. And um, you can see the flowers and how they just blend in. Now, later, I may actually decide to put a bunny, you know, our little gray bunny with uh, glasses. I may actually decide to put that bunny right in the center of these flowers. It's time to light the candle. Now, if you recall, you know I'm all about lighting that candle. This is not my usual window candle, but certainly we want to be able to shine our light wherever we go. And that includes right here at the dinner table. Now notice, this is simple. Dinner is going to be fun. It's going to be simple. We're going to love on each other and just enjoy the day. We're going to help those that we can and certainly if there's someone who needs food we will try to provide that as well i encourage you to find where you're needed and try to step in there so i'm going to bring you in a little closer so you can see our table is set centerpiece looks like a breath of spring. You can see our little flicker of light. And I just love how that pink and white check blends with our florals. My friends, I pray that you are in a safe place and that you are well. I pray that you are bringing, able to see your family or have conversation with your family and that you are able to encourage each other. Now, yes, it's spring, and we have much to be thankful for. But keep in prayer and keep in mind and in your heart those who are suffering, because there are some who are suffering. So let's be beacons of goodwill as we go about this week. God bless you, and I'll see you soon right here in the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time, where we work hard. We love God and family, and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. Enjoy your dinner time with your family. I'm enjoying the moment. I am outside. It's beautiful. I'm going to show you what I'm looking at right now because my azaleas are lovely. And I'm so in love with the look of spring that is across the yard. So blessings to you and yours. And I'll see you soon right here in the kitchen.